week, I mean, I really hope this video works now because it's not been working and I am losing my temper. Uh, I thought I'd be awesome and just basically surprise you for when you wake up with your nap later and surprise you with the video. Yay! Uh, in your last video, you recently said that um, we were going to be doing videos towards each other, dealing day to carry kind of thing. And yeah, it's going to be so much fun because you live all the way up in Scotland. I live all the way down here by myself with David and my family, but not with that, not with you, which sucks ass. So, um, a couple of my celebrities, Tom Fletcher, did this game, more of a Q&A with his wife and his sister, they do daily videos to each other. Uh, it's 15 festive favourites, that's the first time I've been able to say it without stumbling over my words, so I'm just going to get on with it because if this doesn't work, you'll have to wait until the weekend. Number one, favourite festive food, every year my mum makes an extra box of stuffing. And I just pile a big dollop right in the middle of my plate and just savour it with gravy and add a little bit. Oh, so nice. Sorry. Number two, uh, favourite reindeer. I only know Rudolph, so Rudolph. I mean, he's got a red shiny nose. How, how can you not love that? Number three, favourite day of Christmas, like the song. Uh, 12th day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. I don't really know that song, so I went on Google. And for some reason, the day of the turtle doves dragged me in. I mean, I love birds. Just turtle doves. Number four, favourite Christmas song, which is hard because there's so many to choose from. Uh, Slade? Merry Christmas, everybody. That's a good song. Number five, favourite Christmas present. I love getting socks. I mean, I lose so many socks in the tumble dryer. If someone gave me literally a basket or a box full of socks, I would die there and then a happy girl. Would love it. Number six, favourite Christmas film. Has to be Home Alone because every year we sit down and watch Home Alone together as a family. Number seven, uh, favourite Christmas cracker. <laughs> I used to get the whistle. Um, my sister doesn't like the noise of the crackers, so we'd have to pull the crackers before she arrived. And as soon as she walks through the door, I'll blow the whistle in her face and to my other two sisters, and they'll just slap the shit out of me. Sorry, language. Uh, number eight, favourite Christmas cracker joke. We never really used to bother with the jokes because of the whole whistle and by that time mum just and dad would just throw the stuff in the bin and let me keep the whistle. So I went on Google again and there's one that I thought, yeah, I was laughing to myself. I'm not ashamed. I laughed at myself for like an hour. Why did Santa's helper go to the doctors? Because he had a low elf esteem. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Number nine, favourite Christmas tree decoration. Uh, when we were little, we only had the little, like, three foot, two foot, two foot little Christmas tree where it would turn around and it would change the colour of the light. It was not to be played with and we weren't allowed to put any tinsel on it. So about two years ago, I begged on my knees my mum to buy a Christmas tree and she bought a Christmas tree, a six foot Christmas tree. We bought so much tinsel and so many baubles and bought the biggest star you could ever see. I cried putting the star on top of the tree so happy best Christmas ever uh, number 10 favourite festive candle scent we don't really get candles but I remember getting one one year and it was spiced apple I'm going to have to get lower to be around the house it was lovely number 11 favourite Christmas TV advert John Lewis has to be the best one hands down but I was really impressed with Sainsbury's the other day uh, the reenactment of the war and the playing football and oh it was so good. Number twelve, favourite Christmas tradition. 
uh, every year, me and my big sister used to share a bedroom together when we lived at home, and we'd ask mum and dad if it was okay with Santa to put to take a little present from under the tree, take it to bed, and open it in the morning. We do that every year. Um, number thirteen, favorite place to spend Christmas has to be at home with your family. Lazy pants, Christmas film, Christmas songs, wrapping paper everywhere, the house is a mess. Christmas. Number 14, favourite Christmas fact. Uh, I heard this the other day and I thought that was so funny. <laughs> I'm going to have to tell my kids this when I have kids. <laughs> if you're on the naughty list, Kerry, for more than two, for more than once, Santa will come to your house and he will poop in your house. You won't know that he's pooped, you'll smell it, and you won't know where it comes from. Lesson to be learned. Finally, number 15, favourite snowman accessory. <coughs> Has to be the scarf. Every year, apart from last year, I didn't get to do it last year because there wasn't really much snow. I took my scarf and wrapped it around the snowman's head, neck. And then the next day, poof, it was gone. It either got stolen or he got up and he walked away. Snow in Wales isn't that good. It'll snow really bad one day and then when you wake up the next day, the snow will be gone. It'll be water everywhere. So, there you have it. That's my favourite 15 fav... <sighs> See, I told you I'd get it wrong. 15 festive favourites. Christmas at the end of the day. I was going to wait until the weekend and I was going to wear a Christmas hat but we don't really have one here. So it's your turn. Tag whoever you like and if anybody is watching this, go for it. Make your own. Um, yeah. Surprise! Woo! Finally it's worked as well. So I shall see you later. Bye!